Okay, so this is a follow-up to the um, MadFest uh, 2016. Stop-motion animation, as you might know, is a very tedious process where you have to move a little tiny figure incrementally and then photograph each pose in order to get to a uh, the appearance of a moving animated sequence. Um, so this process involves using a um, time-lapse feature on a GoPro camera and uh, some figures and uh, I had these uh, puppets which are basically um, there's a long-standing tradition in film of using um, rod puppets. Time-lapse feature in the GoPro could shoot um, I believe it's two frames for every half second two or three for every half second and then the puppeteers would communicate and coordinate movements that would happen at a very slow rate of speed and then later on um, the goal was to uh, key out some of the green and uh, composite some shots together um, I didn't have the fancy green paint that's required for some of the rods to be keyed out as effectively but this uh, works okay for a lesson I even had uh, a couple of students that were really interested in doing voice acting, so we have a couple of voice uh, samples. A couple of these students really had great voices for uh, cartoon characters. No. No, stop <laughs> believing. <laughs> Just a city boy. I can jump to you. I'm gonna blow whenever I catch up. <laughs> Let me get my walker and I'm going to catch up and kick <laughs> your ass. So we had a lot of things going on. We had um, a lot of students doing uh, stories, a lot of people animating. Uh, we had some people acting as movement coaches. Uh, movement coaches were, were really good because uh, some people were into dance and they could coach people as to how to move in relationship to the slowed down time frame that uh, happened as a result of uh, using the uh, slowed down speed of the camera. Uh, the other feature that was interesting is some of the students became really adept at working with the model and working with the uh, figure and they communicated in order to get these motions like doing cartwheels and doing other kind of unique things with the um, with a figure that I didn't anticipate and that was really kind of uh, interesting and creative. So this team was working on um, getting this bear to dance around. They did pretty well with uh, this idea of uh, working on a, a movement where the bear did a cartwheel and um, they worked together to pass these uh, these rods back and forth to get it to move around in the way that they wanted it to. And that was pretty inventive. One of the challenges is to try to keep the rods behind the model so that they can be keyed out later on. Um, but one of the primary goals of this was to try to work with the idea of movement and animating a character. And um, the students did pretty well with doing that. Uh, so some teams were really good at um, using their imaginations and coming up with uh, really unique ideas. Uh, other folks got really adjusted to the uh, subtlety that re is required in order to create a convincing animated sequence. This was a sequence where the students wanted to try to get a, a figure to dance around. And we had one student that was uh, a dancer and uh, he was going, he was the uh, movement coach here. So the students were getting the figure to dance around and move around and uh, at some point they wanted to do a split and uh, have the character wave so uh, we had to kind of get the rods to go uh, downward so that the angle of the elbows and arms could go upward in a way that made sense. So getting the, the rods to be positioned in a way that would make the figure move in a way that looks somewhat natural uh, was a kind of an interesting lesson.
We're like, okay, I'm animating. The camera is taking pictures really slowly, and they're they're making movements like in real time. And you know, when you speed this up, it's not going to make any sense. So they have to imagine what movements they want and then slow them down. And we went through pacing exercises. We went through a couple of things. Um, and we got to a point where they're act actually able to think of a wave as a motion like this. These students wanted to play around with the idea of having this character make a kicking movement. So in order to... Uh, try to get this uh, accomplished they were trying to work with the uh, the puppet in real time just as just to see what would happen with the possibilities of getting the character to move around in in a real-time uh, context um, they, they ended up mastering the idea of getting the figure to move around in a way that uh, looked pretty natural with the idea of these kicks being in certain positions and uh, moving the figure in a way that that this figure looked like it would move. And they really got acclimated to that, and I was very impressed with their ability to start thinking with that sense of, te what they call it, temporal cadence, that kind of movement, which when sped up, what, what kind of things are possible.